people. It was just over three weeks ago that Provo police officer John Oseguera was shot in the line of duty, and right now he is recovering from those injuries. Well, in the story you'll only see here, Fox 13's Diego Romo talked to some supporters who put together a fundraising event today. Diego. About 20 people braved the cold temperatures and soggy conditions all to raise money for the Provo police officer. I got an exclusive look at their show of support. Rain, snow, sleet, we're here and we love you. It was part shooting competition, part fundraiser held at a shooting range just outside of Fairfield. We've got some military folks, we've got some veterans out here. Uh, we've got some officers out here as well shooting th during this competition. Rick Washington organized the event as a way to show support for Provo Officer John Osegueda and raise money for his family. We can't give them enough credit and enough support. So without without our, our support, it's, it's hard for them to go to their job every day and put it on the line. Jorge Garcia, general manager of Super Chicks and American Fork, provided food for the event. He came to show support for both Officer Osegueda and law enforcement across the state. Every officer goes out there and, and puts himself on the line for, so yeah, this is just a just a very small way to, to, to be part of, of something positive. Competitors paid $20 to enter to see who could get the most hits on a target 400 yards away. And a lot of, lot of police officers get a lot of hate, and I think it's really good to go out and support them and show them that there's people who, who have their back and who appreciate what they do. You know, they put their lives on the line every day just for us, and I, you know, we couldn't be more grateful, so. It felt pretty good. I like shooting. I mean, it feels good supporting our law enforcement. Although the rain stopped a few people from coming, Washington says he appreciates everyone who put in effort to make the event happen. We've gotten a tremendous amount of support, so it's just not the guys and gals out here. There's other people behind the scenes who've also helped out. Officer Osegueda was released from the hospital on March 4th and is continuing to recover from his injuries. Our prayers are, are with him and with his family. We know that, that families as well go through, through a lot of stress to know that their family member is out there putting their, their life on the, on the line as well. Washington was able to raise hundreds of dollars for Osegueda and his family, less than what he'd hoped, but he says the show of support is what really matters. Live in the Fox 13 studios, Diego Romo.